Today is the 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time and the Pontifical Work of St. Peter the Apostle or Sancti Petri. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends in Christ, God did not make death, nor does he rejoice in the destruction of the living. The Book of Wisdom proclaims God as the Lord of life, and in the Gospel, Jesus confirms that God does not intend men and women for corruption. Sent by God to conquer death, Jesus heals a woman long afflicted with hemorrhages and brings Jairus' daughter back to life. In the face of trial and adversity, may we have the daring faith of Jairus and of the woman, confident in Jesus' power. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins, beg the Lord his pardon and his strength. For Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant we pray that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And the first reading, God wills life, not death. By the envy of the devil, death entered the world, but this would be undone by faith in Jesus. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. God did not make death, nor does he rejoice in the destruction of the living. For he fashioned all things that they might have being, and the creatures of the world are wholesome, and there is not a destructive drug among them, nor any domain of the netherworld on earth, for justice is undying. For God formed man to be imperishable, the image of his own nature he made him. But by the envy of the devil, death entered the world, and they who belong to his company experienced it. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
In the second reading, Paul appeals to the Corinthians that since God in Christ has been generous with his gift of life, so they too must share their sources with their needy brothers and sisters. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as you excel in every respect, in faith, discourse, knowledge, all earnestness, and in the love we have for you, may you excel in this gracious act also. For you know the gracious act of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, for your sake he became poor, so that by his poverty you might become rich. Not that others should have relief while you are burdened, but that as a matter of equality, your abundance at the present time should supply their needs so that their abundance may also supply your needs, that there may be equality. As it is written, whoever had much did not have more, and whoever had little did not have less. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. with you and with your spirit a reading from the proclamation of the holy gospel according to mark glory to you O lord at that time when jesus had crossed in the boat to the other side of the sea of galilee a great crowd gathered about him and he was beside the sea then came one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name, and seeing him, he fell at his feet and begged him, saying, My little daughter is at the point of death. Come and lay your hand on her, so that she may be made well and live. And he went with him. And a great crowd followed him and thronged about him. And there was a woman who had had a flow of blood for twelve years, who had suffered much under many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was no better, but rather grew worse. She had heard reports about Jesus, and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. For she said, If I touch even his garments, I shall be made well. And immediately the hemorrhage ceased, and she felt in her body that she was healed of her disease. And Jesus, perceiving in himself, that power had gone forth from him, 
immediately turned about in the crowd and said, Who touched my garments? And his disciples said to him, You see the crowd pressing around you, and yet you say, Who touched me? And he looked around to see who had done it. But the woman, knowing what had been done to her, came in fear and trembling and fell down before him and told the whole truth. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. While he was still speaking, there came from the ruler's house some who said, Your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? But ignoring what they said, Jesus said to the ruler of the synagogue, Do not fear, only believe. And he allowed no one to follow him except Peter and James and John, the brother of James. When they came to the house of the ruler of the synagogue, he saw a tumult, and people were weeping and wailing loudly. And when he had entered, he said to them, Why do you make a tumult and weep? The child is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed at him. But he put them all outside and took the, father's, took the child's father and mother and those who were with him and went in where the child was. Taking her by the hand, he said to her, Talitha kumi, which means little girl, I say to you, arise. And immediately the girl got up and walked, for she was 12 years old. And immediately they were overcome with excitement, and he strictly charged them that no one should know this, and told them to give her something to eat. My dear brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. Magandang umaga din po, Father. Sana batiin nyo rin ng magandang umaga ay inyong makatabi sa kaliwa at sa kama. Ngayon, sa napakaraming imbensyon na meron tayo sa kasalukuyang panahon, sigurado ako, na maraming magsasabi, ang isa sa pinakamagandang maimbento sa panahon na meron tayo ngayon ay nang maimbento ang cellular phone. Meron ka ng telepono, meron ka ng computer, meron ka ng radyo, meron ka pang kamera, ang kulang na lang ay may magtimpla ng kape. Ngunit kahit gaano kahitik yan, kahit gaano kaganda ang model na iyan, kapag hindi yan nakasaksak, hindi yan nacha-charge, walang silbi. Mananatili siyang isang bloke ng isang bagay na hindi natin magagamit. Mahalaga na ito ay naka nakaugnay lagi sa saksakan sapagkat hanggat na ito'y nasa saksakan ito ay mapapakinabangan My dear brothers and sisters today we reflect on our connection with the Lord and because it is this connection with the Lord and our continued connection with Him that will give us life Sa unang pagbasa, makikita natin dito sa Aklat ng Karunungan kung paano sinasabi ng nilikha ng Diyos ang lahat ng bagay at tiningnan natin ang kabutihan ng lahat ng bagay. Masasalamin natin dito ang kabutihan ng Diyos. 
Ngunit kapag tinignan natin ang kamatayan, mababatid natin ayon sa aklat ng karunungan ng pinanggalingan ng kamatayan ay ang kasamaan. Because by the envy of the devil, evil entered into the world. And those who experience this one experiences death. Ito ang sabi na ating unang pagbasa sa aklat ng karunungan. Anong minsaki ang ating makukuha dito para sa ating buhay? Ipinapaalala sa atin ang katotohanan na bagay na ito. To be with the Lord is the Lord's choice for us. But to remain in the Lord, that is the choice we make. Sapagkat meron tayong kapangyarihan upang mamili, manatili sa Panginoon o lumayo sa Panginoon. Manatili sa Panginoon o tumalikod sa Panginoon. Manatili sa Panginoon, magpakalayo-layo sa Panginoon, and we will reap its rewards, whatever it is. Pwede natin hayaan natin na tayo lamunin ng galit, inggit, kamunduhan, kasamaan, ang hindi pagsasabi ng totoo, ang pagiging malihim, at ang mga bagay na ito ay sigurado maglalayo sa atin sa piling ng Panginoon. Gusto yung man ng Panginoon na tayo makapiling, nasa atin kung tayo mananatili din sa piling ng Panginoon. May we choose to be connected always with the Lord of life because in Him is the fullness of life. To be with the Lord is God's choice for us. But to remain in the Lord, that is the choice we make. Sa ating mga susud na pagbasa sa Ibanghelyo, dalawang tao ang nangangailangan ng buhay mula sa Panginoon. Narito ang kwento ni Jairus na kung saan ang kanyang anak na labing dalawang taong gulang ay malapit ng mamatay at kailangan niyang pagalingin. Meron isang babae na dinurugo ng labing dalawang taon. At makikita natin kung paano na ang kanilang krisis ay naging panahon din ng pagkakataon upang sila ay mapalapit pa ng higit sa Panginoon. Because in their going to the Lord, they will receive life from the Lord. Makikita natin dito, pag nilayin muna natin ang babaeng ito. Ang babaeng ito, matagal na nagpapagamot, labing dalawang taon. Naghirap na siya dahil ang kanyang pagpapagamot ay hindi nagbunga. The loss of blood for the Jews is equivalent to the loss of life. Unti-unti na siyang humihina nawawala na siya ng pag-asa and he chose the moment to go to Jesus my dear friends it is never a wrong turn to turn to Jesus no matter how late it may seem to be and sure enough she approaches the Lord with great faith ang meron lang siya sabi-sabi She heard that Jesus can heal, and that's all that she had. And great was her faith to go to the Lord and touch the tassel of His cloak. Naramdaman ni Jesus na lumabas ang kapangyarihan mula sa Kanya upang magpagaling. Hinanap niya kung sino ang humawak sa Kanya. At ang sabi, sino ang humawak sa akin? Sabi ng mga apostol, paano naman masasabi kung sino humanawag sa'yo? Lahat sila nagkakagulo para hipuin ka. Paano masasabi yan? Hinanap niya, hinanap niya, hinanap niya. Yung babae na mapagtanto niya na siya ay gumaling nga dahil sa paghawak niya sa laylayan ni Yesus. Humarap siya, inamin niya ang kanyang ginawa, ang kanyang pag-amin ay nagdulot din ng kanyang pagpapagaling. And she was relieved. Ang ikalawang mensahe sa atin ng Panginoon, lalo na tayo lumalapit sa Kanya, 
the confession of our secrets to the Lord will bring us relief. There is no, there is no greater loneliness than to be alone with your secrets. And our confession of the truth can give us liberty. At gayon nga ang nangyari. Sa kanyang pag-amin sa Panginoon, siya'y nakaranas ng kagalingan. Ano ba mga bagay-bagay sa buhay ko na kailangan ko pang aminin? Kailangan kong sabihin? Kailangan kong ipahayag? Sapagkat wala nang mas nakalulukot pa kundi mag-isa dahil sa ating pansariling mga lihim. There is a liberation that the truth can bring. Sa ating pagpapatuloy ng pagpapagaling, dumating siya sa bahay ni Jairus, nagpapapalahaw ang maraming tao, nag-iiyakan. Oh, anong nangyari dito? Patay na siya. Huwag mo nang guluhin ang guro. Ano ginawa ni Jesus? Paalisin niyo sila. Jesus ignored them. Jesus sent them all away. And when He had sent them all away, that is when He brought the father and mother, went up the upper room together with the disciples, raised up the daughter, and healed her. She was 12 years old. Sa atin, kung ang debo ay 18, na kung saan ang ang uh, babae ay nagiging dalaga sa kanila 12 years old ng isang batang babae ay nagiging dalaga and she is now at the prime of her life living the life that Jesus gave her but how did this life came to be how did this great faith brought life one of the first thing that they did was to send these unbelieving people away. Ano gusto nito sabihin? Mga minamahal na kapatid, sa paglapit sa atin ng Panginoon, may mga pagkakataon, may mga tao, may mga sitwasyon na kailangan na natin talikuran, iwasan, lubayan, talikuran upang tayo higit na mapalapit sa Panginoon. Lalo na sa mga sitwasyon at mga tao na patuloy tayong pinahihina ang loob, patuloy tayong dinadrag down, patuloy na wala na ginawa ko, di negative na lang ang nagpakita sa buhay natin. We don't need that. And the Lord, what did He do? He ignored them. Rather than to listen to, listen to what these people simply are saying, he asked them to listen to their faith. And it is this faith that allowed the healing and life to come back in their lives. Ang tanong sa atin din ng mabuting balita. Sa paglapit natin sa Panginoon, ano ang mga sitwasyon? Sino ang mga tao na baka naman kailangan na nating talikuran, iwasan, lisanin, Kung yun, yun at yun din ang maglalayo sa Diyos sa atin. So my dear friends, may we choose Jesus. May our choice be strong. That when we choose to listen to our faith, life from the Lord will come. Pagpalayan tayo ng mga Panginoon Diyos, ayun at kailanman. Please rise for the profession of faith. I believe in one God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. 
and rose again on the third day in the accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to the Heavenly Father that we may receive healing in mind, body, and soul, and become instruments of healing to one another. Let our response be, Lord of life, hear our prayer. Lord of life, hear our prayer. May the Church, the people of God, continue Christ's healing work by caring for all those who are sick, depressed, the abandoned, and the elderly. We pray. Lord, Lord of, of life, life, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May doctors and nurses, social workers, and all those who care for the sick, the suffering, the poor, and the oppressed do their job with patience, skill, and mercy. We pray. Lord of life, hear our prayer. May all who mourn the passing of their loved ones be comforted by their faith in the risen Lord who has brought us life that can never be taken away. We pray. Lord of life, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, Lord of, life, of life, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, listen to our humble petitions. Help us to have more faith in Jesus' healing power for your love for us and for all humanity. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> friends that may sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice with all your hands. For the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant we pray that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we do a play. <laughs> Make holy therefore this gift we pray, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and was more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For it is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of celebrate the immortal of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life, your chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you built us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray to partake in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, Francisco, our Bishop, Nolly, our auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that through the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. 
and we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O oh, glory and honor is yours, O oh God Almighty Father, forever and ever. taught us so called God of our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await a blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of God's peace.
know Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, happy are those who are called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spirit. Bow down your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Almighty God bless you in His kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you. Amen. Amen. May He nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and make Amen. you persevere in holy deeds. Amen. Amen. May He turn your steps towards Himself and show you the path of charity and peace. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you always. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have, have a wonderful day, everyone.